everyone, it's Lisa. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to get on the live feed and I'm gonna bring you up to date on what's happening. I can tell that fall is coming because when we did live with Lisa's debut, which was at, uh, I think it was August 18th, there was still sunlight and here it is tonight. I was looking out my stamp room window and it's almost dark already. So we know that the seasons are changing very quickly. And I know that a lot of you tell me you're not ready for Halloween and you're not ready for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but the truth is it's right around the corner. If you could do me a favor, type where you're from. I think it's so much fun. Hi, Kara. Oh, she's there. I'm so glad. Um, Stacy is a friend and a customer of mine and her daughter Kara is just absolutely adorable and loves to stamp. So please leave me a comment right now and tell me where you're from so that I know where everybody's watching from. It's kind of fun for you guys to read too where you see each other from. We've got people um, viewing from other countries, believe it or not, as well as Canada and hopefully Hawaii. We'd love to get us all together. As a reminder that when I'm talking Yours, there's a 30 second delay. So you'll see me talking and you think I'm talking. Oh, hi, Gracie, you're from Oregon. Um, there's a 30 second delay. So when I'm speaking to you, you're actually hearing it 30 seconds after I've already said it. So keep in mind that if you leave a question on the screen, I don't necessarily um, can't answer it at the exact same time. It's not that I'm ignoring you. Also, Hi, Mom. Fortune Burke is my mom. So um, a lot of people say to me, why is your mom's name Fortune? Well, my grandmother had a good sense of humor, right, Mom? We're going to go with that. And I see Sherry is from Urbana, Ohio. So it's great to have you guys here with me live. At least I'm not alone. So I'm super excited about that. All right. So some housekeeping items. We've already talked about the delay and response. Also, when I flip the camera down to the stamp table, um, I brought in some additional lighting tonight, so I think we're going to eliminate some shadows. Now, you're going to have um, some shininess. There's not much I can do with that because of the lighting. Also, there seems to be a lot of confusion about the difference between Live with Lisa and these Spotlight Live with Lisa's. So I want to discuss that with you because I want to help clear that up. Spotlights, think of them as little mini shows. I'm gonna come on, I'll show you one quick project, maybe even a tip, and show you some alternative ideas, and then off we go. The Live with Lisa events, those are the bigger ones. Those are the ones that are just like the debut I showed you. I will be giving away prizes, I will be giving away tutorials, and I will be demonstrating several projects as well as alternatives with that same product line. So it's a bigger event. So you're probably asking, oh, hi, Kathy, you're from New, New York. It's good to see you. Um, a lot of you are asking, well, how do I get into the bigger Live with Lisa event? So let me explain. If you place a $35 product order in my online store, you get to join. I automatically include you to the closed Facebook group for that event. So this is kind of just like a little mini. And a lot of times I like to do these so that people know what they can expect from me, from the projects, what the products are about, that kind of thing. So I want interaction, I want you to join us, and I will pop in with these spotlights every once in a while, not on a regular basis, because you know when I get an idea that I think maybe I won't use in a video or on a blog post, I want to be able to share it with you live, so that's the fun. So there's the difference between the spotlight, these little mini events, and the Live with Lisa event, which is the bigger one, which are prizes, PDF tutorials, and of course, uh, lots of live demonstrations. But I've got something fun for you today. One of the things I'm going to be showing you is going to involve this. This is the Cookie Cutter Builder Punch, and it's in the new holiday catalog. Now, if you're one of my existing customers, you should have received the holiday catalog already. I'm gonna reach over and grab it so that you can actually see the cover of it. I'm allowing more time for people to get on with us. Here it is. I know it's backwards because when the camera is in a portrait view, everything is like a mirrored effect, so I apologize. If you're one of my customers and you haven't received this, give me a shout out so I can make sure that you get it. But you should have already gotten it in your mailbox. Sarah said she's having trouble, um, the, the video's not playing. Okay, Sarah, really quick, if you're on an iPad, sometimes you're gonna have to come out and go back in. I find that live feeds work better on your regular computer. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you something fun and different with that cookie cutter punch. Um, the other thing is remember that it comes also as a bundle that includes the stamp set. So you can see that this punch punches out these images. Super duper fun. But I'm gonna give you a little spoiler alert. Are you guys ready for a spoiler alert? Okay, the spoiler alert is that my studio stamps in the mail for October are gonna include these plus eight cards. So two of four different designs, that's a total of eight, all the pre-cut supplies, all the accessories, the embellishments, the envelopes, the postage for it to come to you, and you ready? You're gonna get a video tutorial and a PDF tutorial. There isn't a better deal out there, to be quite honest with you. I will offer some add-on options, so that if you don't have the ink pads, you'll be able to order those as well. But I have to tell you, I am super excited about what I came up with this, and I think you will be too. You can get um, a sneak peek of those coming up towards the end of the month when the registration opens. I made a note, let me look really quick. Um, October 3rd, so October 3rd, that's gonna open up. I just closed the one for this month, so I didn't want to make them too close together because I don't know how about you guys, but if you have a bunch of new stuff sitting around, you definitely want to get stamping, right? And the worst thing is that someone else shows you something cute and you're like, oh my gosh, now I have to have that too. So how about we get started? Now I think I've explained the spotlight, I've explained the event difference, I've talked about the product, and one more thing before I stamp, and then I swear I'm done, I promise. Um, the Live with Lisa event that is on September 17th, I have to reach to the desk, sorry, um, is going to include um, projects from this stamp set, this is Jolly Friends, and the Coordinating Punch, and this one, Glamper Greetings. Now, I have to tell you, I sat down and I made eight projects, four from each of these. I was having so much fun, I had to contain myself and stop. But here's the good news. If you're on Live with Lisa on September 17th, you're gonna get, ready, all eight PDF tutorials. That's four for each project. In the past, I've only given you just the two I've demoed, but for September, and because the support has been so great since this first event, I wanted to give you all the PDF tutorials. So there is still time for you to place your $35 order so that you can join us next Saturday, which is the 17th of September. If you click here on my page where it says learn more, then you will be able to get to my blog and see the information. The Live with Lisa logo will be over on the side if you're looking at a regular laptop. On your mobile device, it's slightly different. But that gives you a little um, idea of what's coming up. All right, I'm ready to flip you down and let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the project today and I'm actually just gonna start making it. And if you know what I'm making, I need you to chime in because it's gonna be a little bit more fun. And if you're new to the live performance right now, please indicate where you're from. I'd like to be able to see who's viewing. Also, remember, when I flip you down, the phone is literally here, so it's really hard for me to kind of read your comments. I am not ignoring you, I promise. And if there's something I miss, I will make sure to address it at the end. The other great thing, are you ready? I'm gonna put pictures of the projects I'm gonna show you today up here on this Facebook page as soon as we're done with the live performance. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna flip you down, and you're gonna get a beautiful view of the scan, I am sure. And there's my little table. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might be just a little bit too far. All right, someone will shout at me if it's not right. Okay, so here we go. I am using the Cookie Cutter Builder Punch. I'm starting with a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock and I am going to cut out one body, okay? I'm gonna keep moving these little scraps out of the way because I know they can be a bit distracting. Okay, so we've got a body. So far, so good. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that same punch, I'm gonna be using this really for everything. This is a piece of chocolate chip cardstock. I'm sliding that in, and I really don't need a whole lot, so I'm just gonna get the bottom portion here. Don't you love how nice this punch is? I'm using my paper snips, and I'm cutting away this portion about the waist. So far so good? Okay, I'm gonna start assembling as we go. So let me just clear some room here. I'm gonna make a big pile of trash over in the corner. 
Daisy, my dog, is in here with me. She's a little Shih Tzu, and <laughs> she loves the little white pieces from the dimensionals, but she also loves the scraps. So if they go on the floor, she's going to be collecting them. This is the silicone craft sheet. This is fabulous, and you want to know why? Nothing it, adhesive-wise sticks to it. So when you have these little tiny pieces, it's wonderful to work here because if you were to work here on your paper, you're going to leave a sticky spot. So I am actually going to make sure that I flip this over. I did learn one thing. This is not perfectly symmetrical. Okay, so that's right. I'm going to add adhesive to the back. So if I go off of this, I'm not even worried because it's not going to stick to my work surface. I think you can see that. All right, I'm going to line up. Whoops, I almost forgot. We got to cut these off. That would have not been good. All right, we're going to line these up. And you're going to see that I'm going to follow the exact punch that's already there, the shape. I'm going to slide that over a little bit. Okay, so far so good. You guys with me? Okay. All right, next step. Punch again. This is crumb cake cardstock. And I'm gonna come down to about here. I, I hate to use this word, but it's kind of like the crotch zone, right? Like where the zipper would be. So we're gonna punch. All right. Now I don't know about you, but I think that this product is a must on your holiday list. Now, watch what I'm gonna do. Off comes the head, I know. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting here on the sleeves. I think this one needs a little bit more, okay? All right, moving all that junk out of the side. I think I need a little bit more here at the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna make a little slit right here in the center. You guys can see me, right? I see you're all saying hello to each other. I think this is awesome. All right, a little slit. Now I'm gonna go here from the shoulder to that slit on both sides. And I'll be honest with you, if it's not perfect, it, it's quite all right. All right, so there we go. Okay, we've got our little guy here flipping this over and I'm going to put adhesive on the back again I'm not worried about it hitting my work surface because of that silicone mat all right so now I'm going to put this on the top all right does anybody know what this is yet you're probably thinking yeah well not kind of does anybody know okay all right next step is going to be some black cardstock and I'm going to work with the head and I don't need all of it so I think I'll just come here maybe about two-thirds of the way down I'm going to punch that out move my scraps to the side so you can see all right so I think I'm going to move this because I think you can see better on a white background right all right so here we go I am going to make a little angled slit here can I see that okay and then I'm going to turn my scissors and listen there's really no rhyme or reason to this so it doesn't have to be perfect and then this one is going to come up and around all right i'm going to give that a little trim okay so far so good do you know what it is who knows what it is stacy says i think i know okay <laughs> patty says it looks like charlie brown <laughs> very funny patty i guess it does doesn't it okay so a little adhesive Back to my silicone mat, and then I'm going to put this on top. All right. So, have you figured out that this is like probably hair, right? All right, good. Back to my punch. Remember that same scrap of crumb cake? We're going to do it again. That was just about two-thirds of it. I'm going to take my paper snips, and I'm going to cut a small piece right here. Now, some of you are probably thinking, yeah, right, good adhesive on that. Ooh, easy peasy when you've got this silicone mat because nothing sticks to it. This is going to be the dead giveaway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, you're going to know. You're going to figure it out. I just know. I just know. Who's got it? Who knows? Someone tell me. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to trim from the back. That's the easiest way to do this. Just trim from the back. All right. So far, so good. Nobody's telling me what you see. What do you think it is? All right. Now, I'm going to do one other thing. This will be the dead giveaway if you don't have it yet. One inch circle punch. I want you to watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to punch a hole out of the paper so it gives me my circle. I am going to slip this back inside the punch. Do you see? 
And who said Indian? Yep, you guys are right. But wait, do you see him when he's done? He's kind of cute. Do you see how I'm making the feather out of this? You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Obviously, I kind of want them in proportion, so I'm going to snip. Don't overlook your punches. They can make fabulous, fabulous things. Now, I noticed this needed a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit here. Let's see if I can. i got to put my fingers up here on the phone. I guess. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. I am using a stylus tool. Now, lots of you have this, and you're probably thinking, when was the last time I used that thing? Well, today. We're going to put a score line right down the middle to equal the vein of the feather. All right, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to move this for right now, my glue dots. I'm going to put one glue dot here at the bottom. And guess where that's going to go? It's going to go right here on the back. Okay, now we've got to give it some realism. So we're going to take my paper snips and I'm using that little bit of vein that I um, made on here kind of as my guide. And I'm going to make little snips here and here and here. Okay. I hope I'm not holding them too close. Look. All right. So far, so good. Okay. Time to decorate. This is the fun part. So I'm going to use some Stampin' Write markers. The first one that I'm going to use is the Cajun Craze. Now, all the Stampin' Up markers um, have two sides. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I think you guys are kind of like losing some detail. Bear with me. Remember the phone is super high. There we go. The Yeah, my cell phone. All right, so one side is the marker and one side is the pen. So I'm going to use the marker side because I want that nice brushed look. I'm going to clear that out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple dots right here in the headdress. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to draw a line here and a line here and I'm going to do some detail here. I have to tell you, I'm shaking. I don't know why I'm shaking. You guys make me so excited. I get nervous, I think. There we go. And a little bit there. Okay, so far so good. Hi, Michelle. You showed up. Yay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chalk marker. I really love this product. Now, some of you told me you're really disappointed that the white gel pen got retired. You know what? I kind of was at first, but not anymore, because I'll be honest with you, this works and flows much better. So I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to make little tiny white dots with it just to give it some definition in that marker area. Now, I know it's probably hard to see from where you're at, and I'm praying my head is not in the screen of the, of the, of the phone. Okay, so that's going to give us some definition there. All right, let me hold him up. Do you see? I think he's cute, don't you? All right, now, last thing I did was my black marker. Again, thin side, thick side. I used the thin side for this, and I thought he needed some of that, like, little fringe look down his pant legs. So I'm going to put some here. Okay, now here comes my confession time. I'm not good at faces like at all. Now some of you are going to like take this project and make it 10 times better and I can't wait to see what you do. So this was the best face I could come up with and I have to show you these other things I made. No two Indians are made alike and let me tell you what, some of them look like they got their hair cut with the tomahawk so you're going to have some fun with this. All right, so I decided like kind of the middle and I did two scooped eyes, all right? And I'm switching over now to the Blushing Bride marker. This is the one that matches the paper. I, I didn't want his mouth to like be pink or red, but this is what I did. All right, so here we go. And a smile. Oh, hey, he's not half bad. He's a little chubby looking, but he's not half bad. So there is the Indian. Isn't this adorable? I'm telling you, you guys, you can do so much with this punch. Do not overlook this product. But who wants to see what else I've made with this cute little guy? You want to see what I added him to? Sure you do. All right, let me clear some space and let me pull in the first thing. Some of you might know what Paper Pumpkin with Boo is. That is actually my daughter, Gina, and every month when our Paper Pumpkin kit comes, she takes the contents and takes them all out and she comes up with alternate project ideas. And I have to tell you, the kid always knocks it out of the park. I'm always impressed. All right, so 
Here we go. I stole this idea from her. She used the last paper pumpkin kit to make a whole Thanksgiving place setting. And if you missed it, you can find it on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and type in Elisa Curcio and you can put in paper pumpkin with boo, one or the other, and you'll be able to see all the past kits and ideas that she's done. But look at, I made a little band. This is one inches, oh, about seven. I probably didn't even need that much. And I put my little Indian on here. Now, isn't he gonna be adorable at Thanksgiving table? I have to say, I think he's really, really, really cute. Hi, Grace from Los Angeles. So glad you joined us. So there's one cute idea for our Indian. All right, let me show you another. My mom is watching, I can see her. So she'll be, um, <laughs> She'll be able to attest to this. I am a huge fan of chocolate. I mean, I, I seriously think I have a problem. If there was like um, a group for people that love chocolate that need help, I think it would be me. And a confession is, is that I actually do have a little tiny piece every single day. Um, so um, last night I had two. So I think I can. I figured, you know what, I deserved it. It's kind of hard to fill these cute little clear uh, treat boxes without having at least one or two, right? So these are the clear tiny treat boxes. I add a little crinkle paper and Hershey's Nuggets, which are my favorites. This is that beautiful 5 8 burlap ribbon. I just tied it on, it's, it's, it's nothing adhered. And look, I put the Indian here. I used the classic label punch to punch out the words, Happy Thanksgiving, and those words come from teeny tiny wishes. I've had that stamp set so long, I actually have it in wood. So isn't he cute? He's a cute. All right, I've got one more for you. And this one's my favorite. I really, really liked how this one came out. So here's my Indian. He looks a little skinnier than the other guys. I don't know why that is. Maybe because of the way I cut his shirt. I use this stamp. Oh gosh, <laughs> I should remember. I think it's Sweet Sayings. I should have brought it over. I'm so sorry. You want to hear a funny story about this? Bob the Builder and I went away last weekend and we had one just crazy hotel visit. We really did at a beautiful resort. But on the first night, um, they had to move us to another room. And this, believe it or not, was like the treat that they gave us <laughs> to say we're sorry. So last night he went to go find it to eat it. I'm like, no. I used it for a craft and he was like oh that figures but isn't this adorable I use this markers to color in a little bit here just to bring some credence to the project but I'll tell you I think that this would make a great little host gift if you're going to someone's house over um, Thanksgiving holiday or even right now for fall so here's one here is my napkin ring and of course we can't forget the chocolate so I'm just gonna set them here like this you can also see, even from here, and here's a couple other I made. Okay, no two Indians are alike, and I told you I'm not good at faces. I tried cheeks. That, that didn't work so good. But I have to tell you, this was so much fun. So much fun. All right, I'm going to flip you back around. So here we go. This way. There I am. What would you guys think? Did you like that? See? This is just a spotlight event so that you can get some cute ideas with products that are just coming out. As a reminder, the next Live with Lisa large event is next Saturday, September 17th. There's a great amount of people that are already going to join me and I sure hope it's going to be you too. So click the learn more button here on my Facebook page. It'll take you to my blog. You can order your, there. $35 in product is all that you need to join us, and I sure would love the opportunity to earn your business. Here's the best part. That $35 order doesn't only get you into Live with Lisa with the eight tutorials, all the projects, which I know you're gonna love. It's also gonna get you prizes, but you're also gonna get my fall bundle of tutorials, which are seven more project ideas. So I have lots to offer you. I am so grateful for your support and for your being here. I'm looking at my list really quick. I just wanna make sure that I've covered everything. I think I have, oh wait, I forgot. I've got something really cool. Who wants to hear something cool? If you subscribe to my stamps in the mail, for next month, which remember includes this bundle. It includes the stamp set with the punch that we just used. So it's gonna be this one, the Christmas cookie cutter. If you do, and you're one of the first five people to sign up for that when it starts on August 3rd, and I'm gonna tell you this verbally because I'm not gonna put it anywhere else. If you're one of the five and you use this special bonus code, I'm gonna throw in a package of dimensionals in with your kit 
absolutely free. So the bonus code is S-S-I-T-M. So that's Studio Stamps in the Mail. So that's the acronym, S-S-I-T-M. If on October 3rd you order and you decide you want to be one of the first, one of those five people are going to get the dimensionals for free. I'm just going to throw that in there as a thank you. Now, I already can see this happening. Somebody's going to ask me, I don't want to wait till October 3rd. I know that I want this, Lisa. I know your projects are going to be awesome and I know I want it. No problem. Send me a quick email. Click on the learn more button. It says contact me. Just send me a note and I'd be happy to save your spot now because I know you're going to want this bundle. Definitely. Um, I'm so glad that you joined me for this quick spotlight performance and I'll be popping in every once in a while and having them. But in the meantime, get those online orders placed and join me next Saturday for a full Live with Lisa event. Have a great night, everybody, and a great weekend. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.